Ever since I was young, I remember my dad taking a lot of different forms of medication. He had diabetes, he had high blood pressure, he had high cholesterol. When he turned 58 years old, he was diagnosed with cancer for the first time. Ever since that day, I made it a point to really find out why somebody develops disease and why they get sick, and I dedicated my life to that. And, you know, I went to, to, to school and I really began to understand why people get sick and how the body is designed to be healthy and what interferes with the process and how to express 100% of their potential. And my first patient happened to be my father. And they found that the cancer that he had three years ago came back and this time it spread all over. And the doctor was giving him three weeks to live. And yet I knew that I had some knowledge that could make a difference. And what I decided to do is apply that knowledge. And I, and I watched my father slowly come back to life. I watched him get out of the emergency room into a regular hospital bed and move out of the hospital bed and go to a rehabilitation center. And even though they told my dad he had three weeks to live, three months later, my dad was home for Thanksgiving. I watched my father's health come back. And you know that's what weighs on my heart is so many people don't get that chance having a congregation or a community that has built their health and know what to do to prevent disease and are empowered in that way makes such a profound impact on their ability to lead others and their ability to lead their family and be in better relationships. And you know, I am so uh, inspired by, by pastors and rabbis and priests because they lead people back to what they need to know. They lead them back to God. And so what we do is we team up with them and help them with fundraisers and projects that they're working on and missions they're working on. And we tithe back into that church, into that place of worship. We, we go out there and speak to as many people as possible and really guide communities and make changes in the productivity and the health of a community by changing their body, by allowing them to have the right knowledge and the right practical skills to get over whatever pain and suffering they're going through physically so that they can actually express that beautiful spirit that has been uplifted within them. Before I came to Advanced Holistic, I was in a very sad state because I'm a carpenter uh, and I do a lot of work with my hands, a lot of physical work. I was uh, experiencing a great deal of pain in my back, in my shoulders, in my hands. The accident happened in May, of, May 12th of 2010 where I was literally crushed inside my car. The woman ran a stop sign at 60 miles per hour and hit me basically head on on the driver's side. I was also uh, 30 milligram oxycodone for pain every day. I was taking five a day and I, I was sick all the time. Colds, flus, you name it, I had it like every other month. Uh, allergies, <laughs> I, was, I really it just was a sick person in pain every single day. Before I came to Advanced Holistic, I had you know different issues with back pain. I couldn't stand for long periods of time in church. I couldn't walk long distances. I was on several different pain med medications, um, Nanoprox, Motrin constantly, Tylenol, sometimes having to double and triple the dosages uh, because of migraines that I suffered from. Um, I was unable to jump off of my left knee uh, because of an injury I, uh, I received when I was 18 years old. I was driving a car and my knee was pushed through the dashboard. Um, and the doctors told me that I would never be able to jump off of it again. I'm now jumping off of that left knee that they said I wouldn't be able to jump off of. And when I came to Holistics, first under the treatment of uh, Dr. Tom Tinney, and after about six months or so, I really started to feel much better. I could sit now, I could uh, bend down, you know, I could lift up, and I could also walk a little longer than I normally could. So the treatment was rather excellent. The Bible tells me that to know the truth, the truth will set you free. And, and, and now I feel a sense of freedom, uh, just like the Lord Jesus says that when people ask to be healed, he asked them another question, would you be made whole? And, and I'm feeling this wholeness, and that's what I'm praying for. On my worst day, I feel better than anything than I ever experienced. I haven't had allergy issues. I haven't had a cold or any sickness in the past year now. As little as that is, that was huge for me because coming from being sick every two weeks, getting something new, and then now where I have nothing, and the pain, like where? Where's the pain? It's like basically non-existent. I'm thoroughly grateful for Advanced Holistic, for Dr. Ray, and for the staff. They create an environment that 
is just phenomenal. Everyone is friendly, everyone is always has a smile. They gave me a place where the most wonderful people I ever met. And I can tell you that it's no flim flam. You have to try it to believe it. And there is someone that can truly help you balance out your life and, and improve the quality without any medication or drugs. They, these people really do care. It's uh, great in an emergency to have a doctor around. I, I would never want to throw them away, but for long-term health, I know that holistic is the way to go.